curriculum innovation and looking at e-learning and how we can enhance and engage our 21st century learners uh, with those sorts of new materials. So I think that's the tie that binds us all. It's kind of complex because we don't have a linear curriculum. Here, right? It's kind of like a, a 3D matrix with things going on all the time. So. What about the orientation of the access community? Well, I think the PBL process enables you to understand the thought process of the student a bit better. There's more interaction. You, can, you get a better idea of what the student knows, what they don't know. They have very good e-learning ideas and then I'll turn this e-learning idea into actual materials so that student, all students can access it. Previously, for the T2 tutorial discussion, the students have to gather together or circulate just one or two sets of the models. But now with the virtual models, the e-models, and then with the, the uh, smart whiteboard, and then we just project that, and also the students can just uh, do the rotation movement of the models from the, the screen or the whiteboard. And I think that's important for this notion of a student-centered curriculum. We try to develop a more interesting problems using different resources. Students, uh, after the, uh, the tutorials, they know that uh, they should look at things from diff different aspects. The energy is quite light, like you, you light up a fire and then you will pass it on. We send a nodal voltage. We find out that students were generally uh, not quite satisfied. And as a result, a lot of them actually lose interest in the topic. For engineer, you really need to be quite innovative to move forward. So we want to create something fun for the students. The first thing they will experience in the lab is that they will be assigned to a random partner every week. We want them to learn to work with strangers. So next question is how are you going to measure? Good. The final project where they actually make a whole setup where Things roll around and things might break, all kinds of things that might happen in a, a real engineering context. There is no mistake in the theory, but when they try to implement in reality, they realize that errors is everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> we are starting to see some fruit. The most obvious and observable for it is how they are quite interested in coming back to help with the class. Before we take the course, which field we want to go into, it was definitely, it was more than I expected. So as a team, I think that's some of the moments that we actually enjoy most. And that's how we divide the work, but we also work together. <laughs>